Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time? Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe Leo Kopernik, sir. Seems he was killed in the costume store. And then he was deposited here. Staged, so to speak. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the fan carpet. My character's name's Gio. Uh, he is an Italian Neapolitan, to be more specific, taxidermist. Uh, artist, he seems himself as an artist. Uh, he cohabitates, cohabitates, cohabits, cohabitates uh, with uh, Mervyn Cochranoris, played by David Yellowo, yeah. close friends, and uh, and he's very much in love. At least my side it is, and he is decidedly odd. So it's it's not surprising that he uh, that he becomes a suspect. I was just gripped. I mean, I read it and was gripped. I mean, it is it's very funny and farcical, but it also it really does grip you. It like keeps you keeps you guessing, it is a very, very satisfying who done it. And it works really well on both levels. It is it is super silly at times and very, very witty and funny, but it is uh, it is a legit satisfying who done it. So I read it in that way. I mean I was gripped. And then I saw this <laughs> my character is quite an unusual invention and I thought that was cool. There are some strange people in it and that's cool. And they're both amazing actors and they and and their parts are written as complete opposites, right? This very taciturn, uh, over the hill, uh, disillusioned man and this like up and coming bright young thing who wants to make her mark and they play those beautifully and, and, and those, those opposites clash in a beautiful, really funny way and then seeing them sort of get closer together and work it out is really heartening. So they, uh, and they're both lovely people, I mean uh, I didn't get to spend a lot of time with them but they, they seemed uh, they're very professional from what I saw and, and, uh, and yeah, and their, their chemistry is undeniable on screen, I think. So it's early 50s, it's, it's incredibly stylish, it's, uh, we're, in, we're also in theatre world, um, so it's very specific, uh, and there's nice clashes between like the police, the kind of humdrum uh, police work versus the very uh, opulent, uh, opulent and, and mad theatrical world that they kind of find themselves uh, involved in. Um, so it's over the top, and and it's uh, and it's successful as a play. It's, it's a play that's doing really well, and so it's full of style and uh, and artifice and and flair, and it's a lot of fun. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more content next time. So what did he do that made you suspicious? It wasn't so much what he did, it was more the way he did it. How did he do it? Sort of suspiciously. Right. the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels. It's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca.
thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.